Hello, hello. <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> right, enough of that. Please tell me. Excuse me. Hello. Welcome along to the Rusha and Shaban show. We're live from our creepy little studio. And it's good to be with you. Please subscribe to both channels if you haven't already. And while you're at it, give us a like and Rusha will give you something oh, else. You could give a shout. Give you a shout. That's weird, doesn't give it? Give us a like and we'll give you a... No, there's nothing. Nothing. There's nothing, nothing for it. Nothing, nothing really. Nothing we'll just it. be very grateful for it, actually. And that's all we've got time for mm -hmm. on today's show. Um, no, really, how's it, how's it going? Hope you're good. Weather's picked up, hasn't it, Rush? I'm into right. that. Just a quick one. Whose channel is this? Yours? This or is mine? My, you're on my channel. This is yours, right? Because I wasn't really listening to a word that you said it's that there again. Honestly, Sometimes you just speak Honestly, I, I just don't know why. Out. I just don't know why I bother. I don't know. Sometimes. Right. Hit her up for part two after this video. Um, we've got lots to discuss today. I feel like I haven't spoken to you in ages. And what's so annoying is that we started that watch along and then everything hit the fan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Me and Justin see apologies trips, but we found mm -hmm. we've found the problem. So when you say we found the problem, who found you, the problem? Yeah. But this isn't my gig, is it? Oh, is I did gig? say to you yesterday and I was, was like, I've said that, I said wires and stuff. So <laughs> we found that one of the USBs plugging it into the camera seemed to be hanging out ever so slightly and it was dropping out and cutting out from our monitor. So thank God we had the monitor on because then we'd have been sitting there talking and it would have been hanging out the whole time. Aye. You don't know. You know, mm. your elbow. How have you been? Good, Hen. Had a busy couple of days. Just running errands. Is what they say? That's what they say. I hate doing some stuff like that. I hate doing shitey tasks. I hate all that stuff. I need to have an holiday tomorrow where I need to sit down on computer yeah. and go through shit. Life admin. Um, life admin, yeah. I hate that stuff. I fucking hate that. I like life admin. Uh, I hate it. Especially when you get it done. I think when I sit down and do it, but it's like I really put it off and off and off. Even nowadays, WhatsApp messages... And I leave them because I'm like, I'm not ready to get back to you. And it's like I need to take time to get back to people to give the proper message or reply yeah. about something. Yeah. It becomes a lot. It's obviously part of my condition, um, <laughs> dealing wait, with life. Wait till you have kids and stuff. Mm. Do you know, there's nothing more obnoxious and patronising than that saying, wait till you have kids. Wait till you have kids. Well, you're like, ah, well, no, I still feel I'm busy enough. I don't need uh -huh. kids to I feel I any less... Any less uh, no, validated. I feel like I've, I've got your kids all the time, so... That's... You had them one day one yesterday. Day. You gave them Honestly. a badass swinging dinner, and mm. now you're now you're chucking parenting skills at me. Mm -hmm. I actually think the fact that my kids are nearly five, I've smashed it. Think so? Aye. I don't know. Aye. I'm going to slowly morph into Jeffrey Dahmer, and I'm going to start calling him Jeff. Don't call him Jeff. Because people be like, why does she call him Jeff? Because like, she thinks he's a serial killer. Mm -hmm. He's so delightful. Why would you say that? He's it's like just, we had a few barnies yesterday when we were dealing with like the slugs and the caterpillars um, and spiders. Actually, so we had a few moments. Where but he doesn't to try just, and kill them. He just wasn't listening. He wanted to put the spider in the water and he wanted to put another thing in the water cast. Mm. So I don't know, but I'm in between the lines and Hank. It's how it starts. Oh my god! So oh my don't god. say I didn't warn you. I, I actually names will not be named, mm -hmm. but I was with a little girl very recently. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and um, it was me, Brooks, and Reva. Mm -hmm. We were looking at spiders mm -hmm. somewhere. It was this little spider. She took her finger and she went right on it. She was young as well, and I was mm -hmm. like, "Oh my god, serial mm -hmm. killer!" Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. I just went. That's what kids do. Okay, no, Rusha, so I and you used you to do to, that. No, no, I didn't. I you didn't. did. That's not true. Um, I think yeah, when they're that age, I think you need to actually be really I can stare with them. Like you can and give them a, give them a row so that they remember it and go, oh, that's life. That's not what we do. No, we don't. Unless it's a blue bottle that lands on shite and then comes and flies and lands on your face. Get them to <laughs> do one. Um, what other animals do I not really like? People that's don't like rats and stuff, but I think they're quite cute. Yeah, but obviously you would want them around the gaff for anything like that. So they get yeah, that's it. Yeah, blue bottles can do one. Okay. Um, but yeah, life is life. You've got to treat it all the same and equal. I know. It's the food chain as well. I hate that saying. The food chain. And I'm like, oh, we're top of it, are we? What made us so special? I uh, know. No, I know. You know. Anyway. Right, what do you want to speak to me about? Hurry up. Pure uh, waste of time. Anyway, so, um, there was a story going around. I don't know if you saw it yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, Beth Mead was the face of it. About, oh my God, did I tell you what happened the other day? No. I nearly killed Beth Mead. Why? Did I not tell you? No. My driving. Where was she? Were you in the car? Mm-hmm. 
Wait. So she was behind me. Mm-hmm. I had a quick chat, just saw mm-hmm. her in the street. I had a quick chat. Mm-hmm. My car was in front of hers. Mm-hmm. I got in the car. I was running a bit late because mm-hmm. I was going to get the kids. And usually I walk for the kids, but I was mm-hmm. taking them elsewhere. Well, anyway, I literally just pulled out and then there was a car behind me and Beth's and I nearly went right into everyone. And the woman went and mental at me. And I was like that, oh my fucking God, I just nearly killed Beth. I didn't care about the other women. Behind your car? Behind my car Uh and I pulled out Mm -hmm. at the same, just out onto the oncoming traffic. Mm -hmm. So it was going to be a mad smash. But everyone lived to tell the tale. Right, okay. Well, next time if you go do something like that, I'd live stream it. Yeah, so to be get fair. a shitload of views. Could have got some views in. Uh-huh. Could have got some views. It was nearly, yeah. it was nearly absolutely tragic. Though. Beth Mead splattered. Do you know what I mean? Like that would be a she's hit. splattered. Oh. oh, she's fine. She's okay. She's fine. Yeah, you she, should work on your driving. I should work on my driving. Yeah. Um, what was I going to speak to you about? Yeah, the, um, she was the face of this. Um, Beth was the face of this campaign yesterday about supporting young girls in football because quite often. Um, young girls and women are the first to be booted off the pitches to let men on. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. um, it's not the first time I've heard stories like this, is it? Like no. it's this still, still happens. Thing, I will. This still happens. It's probably happened during the season at some point to some club within mm-hmm. the WSL or the Championship. The ones at the top, they're probably okay. They don't have pitches that are there. It's tough, especially come when it comes into the winter months and the first teams. They might have, there might be like one or two pitches under soil heating, so the men will use that, that'll be their pitch, they'll be okay. Sometimes academies might get on it, but like the older lads or whatever. Um, but the women will take the hit then, too. Um, and then it becomes a, a pitch slot. There's been times, I'm sure, last season, I think it was Birmingham and all, they had trouble. Birmingham did it. They were getting uh, booted off. It happened once when I was at Birmingham, too. We were getting told to get off the pitch because... The boys had to train. The under nines and all um, that were coming. Was, uh-huh, you're just like, uh-huh, you That's really mental. take the bottom up. It should be men's team, women's team, take priority. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, it becomes tougher and stuff like that during winter. Um, but yeah, it still happens, still happens to this day. Yeah, yeah. I remember so. when you were at Birmingham, because um, <clears throat> I'd done a bit of a story mm-hmm. on it at the time, mm-hmm. but there was conversations that the girls were actually moved out of their dressing room. Mm-hmm. At stages to make way for like the under twelve boys, probably, and that's only it's, a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's not. So uh, it's not changed still, now. There's still stuff going on like that, and as I'm saying, it's still happening kind of at professional level, and it's obviously if it's happening at professional level here and here and there, it's still ha- going to filter all the way down, mm. and it's going to be up throughout the pyramid. Yeah, good word, wasn't it? Throughout the pyramid, the football pyramid. Yeah, do you know what the football pyramid is? Tootin mm-hmm. come in. Mm-hmm. 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 I like Tootin. That's mm-hmm. what I say. Yeah. Respect, brother. You're dead right. Mm-hmm. You get to the very, very top of that pyramid. Mm-hmm. You know what happens? You get to the top. Mm-hmm. Looking down. And you're like second from the top, to be fair. I'm like at the pits. I'm at the pits of the pyramid. You're dead in a... I'm the soil around the pyramid. I'm the sand. Uh-huh. I'm not even on the foundations. Don't, don't. You, don't you're don't talking you just down say, about you yourself just say to me. You just say to me, you're pish. When? A bee eyelash right there, my love. When did I say your pish? All the time. I don't ever say your pish. You do, you I say you waste time. my time. Mm. You waste a lot of time. Doing what? Like getting injured and shit. Like, oh, yeah. All that stuff. I'm a bit like, oh, that gosh. is really sad for me. Get on with it. it. Yeah. Like, if you, I mean, you agree with me, don't you? Anytime she gets injured, you're just like, chocolate. Get on with it. Like, get up, get going, like, run it off. It's just been the, the last few years. I've been really tough on me. <laughs> <laughs> Especially my Achilles. Yeah, your um, Achilles are battered. Yeah. Who was that guy, the footballer who posted the picture of his Achilles? Oh God. Oh. Um, is it Kim Kim Pem? Kim is a rugby yeah. player, isn't it? Kim Pem I thought it was a football player. Yes. Anyway, anyway, not like good stat there. You know, like great story. Oh, you keep doing research. Know, or just just so much uh-huh. research, just mm-hmm. that it'll flood you sometimes. God. But look to the end, it was all stapled. That was a rupture. So he's ruptured it, so they've had to like obviously do and, an operation. And you don't that. think you've ever ruptured, no? No, if you ruptured, you know, Cass. If you ruptured, it would like snap, um, <gasps> and you'd be out for a, a solid year. 
Achilles ruptures are just as bad as ACLs, if not worse, I'd say. Right. Compete there. Hand in hand. What's yours? Achilles tendonitis? Yeah, but I, I, I've i had, like, tears in mine, so I get, like, little tears, um, where then you can't, like, push off and sprint. You just, yeah. It just goes pain. Yeah, like so I've always got, like, a tendonopathy on my right. And then my, my left one will play up to, um, right. but that's what's been a wee be action since January, the left one. Right. But, um, Cass, we're out there running, running through the pitches, Last few days, like a big... How's it been feeling? Bag of shite. <laughs> um, How are you feeling when you run? They're, they're actually been all right. Yeah. Good bit of rest and stuff, so hopefully just keep working that. Got a lot of stuff that I'm doing for it. Um, I mean, that's the thing, you're off-season now, but you're yeah. working to try and get into international camps. Yeah, so like, like, it's like pre-pre-season again as such, kind of. We've only had, had like two two weeks off um, from running. Mm -hmm. Two full weeks off from running. So build it back up a but given runs to do. Yeah. Jesus Christ, cast man, I would take you out there for a laugh, me, because I am like, people must be looking on that poor girl. What is she doing? Because mm. she's not running. I'm like literally a slug slivering across the pitch, but you would be like, honestly, airlifted, boom, ambulance, hospital, mm. night, night. I don't out. care. I'm not trying to be something I'm not. I'm mm. never going to be mm -hmm. an elite athlete. I mean, you're never going to be an elite, elite athlete, which yeah, is yeah. no, But it. I just, you know... I, I do take my hat off to people who are that fit, mm -hmm. who can do that kind of stuff and just mm -hmm. go again, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not me, hen. It it's is me, I, I'll it's tell you good. that. He asked me to sleep with him one night with a big green spot in his face. I said, no thanks. I'm not interested. I don't, I don't fancy boys. little boys with no jobs. Mm. <laughs> that sounds a bit callous, actually, <laughs> now that I say it. Right, and else? I don't know. I just loved that Piers Morgan interview. Did anyway, you? I look. I only see the clips. I just see it on TikTok, all the clips. But Everyone's doing the voice. Does, I'll hang your curtains for you. <laughs> uh, it's a euthanism. It's a euthanism. <laughs> What's a euthanism mean? What would you say if Jamie came in and said to you, get your curtains out now? I'm going to hang them for you. Mm -hmm. I'd go, well, they've been absolutely, they've been hanging off the the hooks for ages now mm, really you know and mm -hmm. then he'd be like it's a euphemism I'd be like fix the curtains don't mm -hmm. tease me like that the curtains need fixed the actual curtains uh huh because my curtains need fixed beef a bit. curtains no mm. no I need to put my curtains stitched mm -hmm. up a wee bit okay so anyway um one thing I wanted to ask you about while I got you honey mm. is Miss Carla Ward she Why? asked me to sleep with her one night no she didn't <laughs> um, <laughs> the big green spot in her face. That's actually quite callous. <laughs> Carla Ward. Oh, is that funny, is it? <laughs> Carla Ward is stepping back as yeah. head coach at Aston Villa. Yeah. Yeah, well, she's obviously been there a few, a few years now. Um, and I think there's probably a bit of, like, whatever's going on behind the scenes at Villa. Maybe she feels that she's things could be better. Not Why, sure. What, what do you um, mean? I don't really know. I just think there's maybe a few changeovers. I don't know how they feel about the women's team right now. I don't know if they're really... Pushing them and supporting them. Right. Are they are they really backing them? Are they investing in them? That's what I'm trying to say. That I think they're kind of just been a bit like that's your team and you're fine, right now. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's but that's how I would look at it. Um, and then you've got to look and go. She's also a mother and she's been travelling a lot. Not going to say where she lives before people turn up their gaff. Um, <coughs> so she does a bit of travelling to and from. Um, Is that you to get you? to work? Mm -hmm. So I think there's probably a bit of family time and uh, yeah, I, I think I've got. A, I'm sure ages ago we'd spoken. I think she'd be quite keen in getting into like doing a bit of media work and stuff like that. And then obviously that would tie in better with. Should we get her on the pod? Family. Get her on the pod. She'll be like, do one. She'll probably want to. Have she'd big... love to come on the pod. She'd want paid for that cast. She's not going to sit on here as clowns for nothing. Why not? Because she won't. Cast. She's about to say about travelling. You got her promoted. Do you know what I mean? Did you I got whip? her promoted. <laughs> Did a what? Not promoted. Mm. What's the word? Relegated. <laughs> we survived. You we survived, survived that season. Um, I think, don't again, don't doubt yourself, honey. Maybe she would like to come on the podcast. Right, enough. Of it. Sometimes you just need to Carla, get if you are course. watching. Sure, but right, you pay me. Mother, so you're, you're it. mother to mother. I get no money. But if you want to come on the pod, we can smash a bottle of Whispering Angel and we'll have it out. Okay? So. Right, she'll probably block you now. So that's that. Fine. Um, Fine. But yeah, I, I think there's just a bit of that. So I think she'll happily have a little break. Mm. 
recuperate and then see what's what. I mean, she'd be a massive gate, I think, for media, for like yeah. the lack of like managers that mm-hmm. we actually have, at, mm-hmm. kind of who represent the high up mm-hmm. the WSL, mm-hmm. being able to do work like that week in, week out. So I guess yeah. she would probably find herself and she in loves a situation. bloody gab, doesn't she? She, she loves, loves a chat chat. Does she get oh, a proper uh-huh. chat box? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So probably right Love up that. her street. Love that. Yeah. Speaking of chat boxes. Oh, what's that smile? What was that smile? I don't know, you tell me. What was that smile? I don't know, what are you doing later? Um, <laughs> I'm actually going into my room. No, I'm not, I'm going to sit here, I've got my computer, I've got a few emails I need to send. Who are you going to email? People, chatterbox at gmail.com. I need to get my, yeah, I need to look, I have so much shit to do. I feel like I'll fall into tomorrow too. Right. Yeah. Right. And I have to do some gym. Pierce, is that a serious question? Yes, it is. Right. Okay. Another thing I'd like to run by you. Come on. Kiara Keaton, mm-hmm. Golden Glove winner of the season. Wow. What what an outstanding job for, you know, our first kind of full breakthrough season. Fair play to her. Aye, it's actually, it's quality. It's a great achievement, massive achievement for someone so young. But you know what goes back to what they say? Age is just a number. Mm-hmm. And if you're good enough, you're old enough. Mm-hmm. So uh, fair play to her. Um, and she's in the England squad too. But um, great headache for Serena and all. She's obviously got Mary Earps, who's. What? Oh, what a massive like headache that is. I know. You've got Hannah, who's been oh, fantastic right now too. So, God. By the way, England produce a lot of quality, but it's probably for some time they've been waiting on having, like, you know. The thing is, with like keepers, it's like you're always like waiting to see who you'll have one great one, maybe, and you're like. They only come along every so often. So it's a good place for England to be. You know when you know when Mikel Arteta had brought in David Rea and he was like, Oh, I'll be the first manager to rotate goalies and he just didn't. Mm-hmm. Like he didn't. You know, he was talking about he could substitute goalies and whatever in game. And he hasn't done that, right? Mm-hmm. But anyway, do you think Serena Vigman could be the actual first manager to rotate p- keepers as often as she would like? The way you could rotate your forward players? I think she's ruthless enough that she's just like it's all on form. Mm-hmm. So you even see that with squad. If people aren't playing as many minutes at club football, like they're out. Um, and she, she, I think she's quite quite big on that. So I don't think she's scared to make changes. She's not scared to drop people. So I think it'll be, yeah, based on form. But it could be like somebody plays one camp, next camp things change and then she changes them like that. I don't think she's going to really chop and change throughout right now, like mm. games. But you never know, she might. Um I mean, I suppose qualifiers that happen in the summer, I mean, you guys will be facing them again. Mm-hmm. Who would you say is the toughest goalkeeper or the most? Who would you say come the summer? Mm-hmm. Would you least want to see in goal for I mean, England? I have to get in their half first. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it doesn't matter who's playing in for them. That's what I'm saying. It's free quality keepers. The, uh-huh. the three of them are outstanding. Um, they've all got different attributes. Um, obviously, made it being the most experienced out of them. Um, it was nice to see her She's, happy, wasn't it, winning the FA Cup? I've not really seen much of it. I was honey come back from a hen party. It's about a week ago, hen. I know, but that's what I'm saying. I didn't really see much of it. Any, didn't see any of the game. I've just well, seen some celebrations and that. But uh, was I right or was I wrong? You were right. Oh, Big players so stepped it. Can you tell me the story that you told me about Rachel Williams last night? Uh, yeah. Um, not to sound creepy that, but I was really, really, really young and me and a few of the girls had went down to Doncaster Bells. And there was a Scottish guy that used to run them at the time. Can't remember. His name was John, I'm sure. Um, and I mind him telling a story about like a, a fridge freezer, something like that. And like they were like going to lift it, but they were waiting to help each other. And then Rachel Williams came and like just lifted up the freezer, and moved our cell. I think <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not, but that was definitely the story that he told. So, aye, she's an absolute tank. Wow. Mm. And then also to be able to score 12 years ago, yeah, to win it for Birmingham, and then 12 years later for Manchester United yeah. to contribute, to start, to, terror- to terrorise Spurs the way she did in that first mm-hmm. half. Mm-hmm. To underrated player, I think, is Rachel oh, Williams. I think people that have probably played with her and like that have been about, they know exactly what she can do. Mm. Um, but yeah, she's a nightmare, I think, against any defender. She's just an absolute handful. Bullies people, can score goals and... A rock great, so it's standing. Um, but you did break her nose. Do you know I did one game? It was an accident, though, so I'm terrified. When was that? A few seasons back. 
was an accident. I'm very. You're not allowed to jump with your arms like that these days. No, you're not allowed to do that to balls either, Rish. No, I can't catch them in the box either. Watch. It's really tough. Oh, oh, that's not a handball. It's really tough. You're so embarrassing that night. (laughs) Um, I thought I'd done well to get my fat arse out against it. Are you right that she minds just starting to get Yeah, maybe she's just a wee bit heavy for something. Maybe. I'm tired. Oh. I'm a bit tired too. A bit tired. There's heat in this. Oh, you're tired from yeah. frigging hoovering. Why don't you buy a fan? Why are you doing oh, your fan? I've got fans in the garage. I've got oh, 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 can I have them? The covered in dust and shite. There's one under my bed as well. Again, covered in dust and shite. Would you stop being abusive? I just don't and my house very hygienic. Oh, that's all. What are you talking about? You're not very clean. But you can, I mean, where have I to keep the fan f- fucking hung up in the wardrobe? Yeah, cover for it. the year, it yeah. gets moved to the garage <laughs> in the winter because I'm not using it. At least it'll be I one guess. fan you've got. <laughs> Mother, you, you're a fanny. You're a big fanny. <laughs> I love that. You're the biggest fan. <laughs> I've really been a fan. Right, I think you should go outside for a little walk. Um, when did you last get your Botox done? Oh, a while ago. When was a while ago? Um, about four months ago. Oh, was it? Right, okay. It's but, lasted already. Yeah, it's just the, the bits are starting to... Yeah, I don't yeah. mind it when it like sets out a little bit mm, and then it's no. a bit more natural. Oh, hell but no. I need to get my brows done. No. I need to get my skin sorted again because I ran out of my pill and I need to do my whole blood pressure. Oh. Weight and all that. They're probably going to go, hey, how much have you gained in the last mm-hmm. few months? Well, we oh, need to get you off this pill. Good you. This pill is... Knew up, you and I like that. fat mammoth. I thought like, I doctor yeah. I knew it wasn't my fault, and you wasn't uh-huh. whispering angel. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Were you eating the bottom and all? Yeah, big telly tubby." <laughs> <laughs> no, we're back on it, aren't we? Mm-hmm. And I think week after next, maybe I've got a run of like normal day shifts, so that's going to be like back to it. No excuses from you. I've been hammering Your with the bike. Are really high. Like, hey, really high. I know. I'm very really, like a little shrunk. Mm-hmm. Look at my traps. To relax. Get my traps like. It's your boobies, man. You've got a right set of ditties on you right now. They're oh. looking well. Looking oh. well. Oh, hello. You puppies. You puppy pups. But I'm also a fat, stinking bastard. Um, mm. Okay, well, uh, listen, we've had it out. We've discussed things. We've got right into the depths of it. I mean, the analysis well, we... has been set us up Monday yeah. night football. Uh-huh. This guy sitting here, isn't uh-huh. it? <laughs> right, and we're going to have the board soon, aren't we? We're going to have an electronic board where we just fucking move people about the yeah, gaff. Yeah. Boom, 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 love boom, boom. I'd love that. You wouldn't have a Scooby-Doo. Team news popping up. You have that. Like Dragging out formations yeah. and whatever. Mm-hmm. Have that. Well, you could play uh, You could play um, a false nine with wing-backs. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you? <laughs> That's the lingo, uh-huh. you know? That's it. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget part two over with her very, very soon. Please like Please subscribe. Please continue to subscribe. I do rate it. Get in the comments. And I'll see you real soon.